So, hello. This is a video regarding my new custom actions for Playmaker. So, recently I've just created a custom action for Playmaker and it is called binary save and load. So, with this custom ac custom actions, you can save variables and load it later uh, to save the progress of your game and uh, the advantages of this uh, custom actions is basically uh, this binary save and load is more advanced compared to player prefs. Player prefs is basically only a text data so if your player knows where to find your save data or your player prefs data they can add it or they can hack your uh, game uh, progress so it makes easier for them to hack but with binary save and load uh, your progress will be saved to a binary file which is more harder to hack it is possible though but still harder for the usual uh, player or the casual player and with this binary save and load it's very easy to save data uh, you don't have to split your arrays to multiple keys on your player prefs just like I shown you before and the save uh, saving high score tutorial so okay let's get to it by the way I'll provide the link to the plugins or to the uh, to the custom actions in the description and if you find it useful I really appreciate f uh, for you maybe to just to donate a small amount to my channel thanks a lot for your support okay let's get into it so I have a new scene here uh, let's create a new game object so I'm going to create a save game object so I'm going to show you the basic uh, functions uh, of this uh, custom action okay this is a save game object and for the save I'm going to add an FSM and then once you've installed the binary saver you will have a new category here input output and it will consist of binary load and binary save or you can just filter out the name binary so I'm going to choose binary save and here this is basically all the variable that you can save so far that I've I have tested it only works on float integer string boolean and array and that array will also have the element type of these four variable types so uh, I have tried with vectors and it gave me an error because f from what I've heard vectors cannot be serialized so if you want to serialize a position then uh, split out to a single values uh, on each the axis to a float values uh, you can save it that way okay I'm going to set and with this uh, each of the variable types you can save as many as possible for example if you want to save one variable just type one here and you will have one slot of variable that uh, can be assigned for saving or if if it's more than one just type another number let's say five then you can let's say the first one is for the player health and the second one is for the player level uh, you can do it like that so I'm going to make this this one each of this one Okay, and then I'm going to save the progress to a file called save data dot save data test dot bin. The name it can be anything, the file name and the extension also can be anything. It doesn't matter. So just choose any extension that you want to. It can be a bin or it can be a save or anything else. Okay, for the float variable I'm going to create a new variable. I'm going to name this float and then I'm going to create a new integer variable I'm going to create a new string variable and then I'm going to create a new bool variable and here I'm going to oh for array you cannot create new one so I'm going to create from from here I'm going to create an array and I'm going to name this float array and for this array I'm going to type this as a float and I'm going to assign two values so the first one may be around uh, 0 0.7 and the second one 1.4 so we have two different numbers 
and each of this variable I'm going to set a different value the first uh, the bool uh, int uh, sorry the, the bool variable I'm going to assign this true because the default value of the bool is false so I'm going to assign a different value from it defaults value see that if, uh, if if our save system is working and for the float I'm going to assign a 3.3 .3 value for the float array we already signed uh, a value uh, for the integer I'm going to sign assign a 2 as the value and for the string maybe we put a, uh, a string of uh, word test in it so we have all of this uh, variable it's already have a value inside of it as you can see and for the array I'm going to choose the float array so we can see that array it has two values here okay so now I'm going to duplicate the save object and I'm going to name this a load object okay under load we are going to create a new uh, load variable here the binary load is exactly the same like binary save and first of all I'm going to copy the file name so the file name has to be the same name otherwise it cannot found your save game and if if binary load doesn't found your save data it will send this not found event so you can uh, go to another event and maybe put a warning or a message box that uh, tells the player that the save data cannot be found okay I'm going to assign uh, fill with one for each of the variable here that we are going to load and then remove our binary save so remove action and I'm going to assign float to float here integer to int string to string every variable according to its uh, 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 variable sorry and I'm going to reset, uh, reset the value so for boolean I'm going to set back to false for float I'm going to set back to 0 and for float array I'm going to change its size back to 0 so it's an empty array for the integer set back the value to 0 and for the string I'm going to erase everything here so it's null okay so here we have a binary load so to test this I'm going to disable our load first and just enable the save object here okay let's play this and once it plays it will save the data to this save data test that save and the folder of this save data test is inside the application data persist I think so you can maybe just google it under unity uh, website search for the uh, absolute or relative path of the application data test I'm going to show you later uh, the one in Windows here okay we already saved the file and then I'm going to stop this and we are going to disable the save and here go back to our load and enable the load game object as you can see here our all of our variable in the binary load is uh, all on uh, with its default value so 0 0 and, and the string is null the boolean is false and the uh, float array is empty so okay now let's play this run this and see ah there you go as we as you can see here the float gets a new value here and it's just like the exactly uh, the one we saved before also the integer the string is test the boolean is true and the array have a uh, different uh, are, I mean have two different values on the float array so how do you use this in the high score system well it's easy so let's open the high score scene here okay this is the high score scene oh, sorry I'm going to duplicate this first and I'm going to edit the duplicate scene I'm not going to save this okay here as you can see I'm going to go to the save button here and here with the save button I'm going to delete all of this uh, action below here the convert integer string build string player prep set to string and this one this one because all of this action is actually for our player prefs uh, saving data so I'm going just to delete this by pressing delete and I'm going to re-enable our array add action so we are going to uh, add all of the values that gets inputted in both of this 
input text to our name array and score array and name is actually a string array and score is actually a integer array here let's add the binary save and for the save data let's call it high score dot save or dot save and for the array we are going to only uh, save the array value but we have two different arrays so we are going to change this to a two so we have two different slots for the array and each of the slot can have different types of, of array so the first one you can choose the name which is a string and the second one is a score which is an integer so let's save the scene here okay and now we can go to uh, to our load and this is uh, the cool part as you can see with player preps we need two different states this is for building the array and saving to uh, get the save data from our player preps so it's, there is a lot of state and uh, not a lot but there is a lot of actions here involved so we can streamline this with binary load so I'm going to delete the get save and build array add a new state here I'm going to load binary data Oh, sorry I'm going to rename this load binary data and add a global transition load and add a finish transition go to this slot here this state and then I'm going to add a binary load in this binary load I'm going to go back to our save and I'm going to copy the file name here back to our load data and then I'm going to change the R uh, array members to 2 and the first element I'm going to load the name and the second one to the score so basically the order of the variable must be the same as the one in save for example if your binary save has a string array on the first member and the second member has an integer array or the name uh, respectively the name and score array then on load it has to be the same order otherwise your data will get mixed and it will uh, output the data uh, wrong okay so let's try this I'm going to save the scene and play and here I'm going to input a random name with random score save it and then another name and another name save it okay now I'm going to stop this and go back to play and load there you go as you can see here the binary data works beautifully and if it's missing the data for example I'm going to create a new event call this one not found and I'm going to add that transition not found to a new transition and add new state here uh, error message maybe okay here I'm going to set not found event to not found so if we change the file name here we save it and then if we try to load the data it will go to the error message state so this is uh, useful for preventing error loading uh, the save file so you can inform your player that uh, the f save file is missing and the the uh, the save data on the windows resides under the users your username and under app data folder local low here and because this project still have a default company on the on the uh, project settings the player settings so it resides here and ships with it. there you go as you can see this is the high score and the other save data that I have been created for testing so if you delete this all the data will be lost so okay I hope you like this uh, short videos regarding binary save and load and hopefully this custom action 
uh, can improve your or can enhance your game make it easier to save data and just remember there is still some limitations uh, with the f variable types so far it only supports float variable integer string boolean and array which have the type uh, the four other uh, variable that I have told you before and probably it only support for the desktop uh, Windows and probably Mac and uh, iOS and Android in Windows Phone it doesn't support it yet this binary load so for if you are targeting Windows Phone better to use player prefs at the moment okay thanks for watching please subscribe if you like I see you in another videos bye <laughs>